Brownie, we've just been saying it there before we started recording. Frustrating, tough game, but we haven't been beaten. Yeah, you know, um, it's at this stage of the season, it's, we want wins. We do know that, but um, sometimes you've got to be realistic as well. You come into a place like this, Swindon, who are a good physical team, um, get the ball in the box and just come away with a 0-0 and realistically it's a good result. Going to cut straight to the chase. Are we giving up on the playoff dream yet or is it still there? No, as long as we can make it. You know, it's difficult. We're not going to shy away from that. Um, in terms of looking towards that, it's not now that's been the problem. It's the season that's gone. You know, we, 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 we should have been better for the players we have and we just haven't done as well we think we could have, you know, but that's football. Um, but no, we won't give up on it. We'll go in thinking we can win the last four games. We've lost one in ten, so we're not in bad form as such. But um, no, we won't give up. We'll still continue to play, play football and um, see where it takes us. We're still in a real stubborn streak by hanging in there as well. Oh, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, sometimes you've got to graft it out. But, um, yeah, so, um, no, it's, you know, we've, we've set up quite defensively, you could say, today. But you've got to show the opposition respect as well at times. Um, you're not, we're not going to come here and play open, expensive football and, you know, dominate the ball. So we need to respect the opposition and do what we can do. And then, um, but, you know, we'll be happy with the clean sheet and we'll take it back home to next weekend at Morecambe. Wing back, are you having that? Um... That's after Gaffer. <laughs> but um, it's different. It's obviously, I'm a better fullback, everyone can see that. But um, if, if I've got to play there for the team, I'll do it. It's, it's a blow, it's not enjoyable, but um, I'll graft it out, whatever. What I've got to do is, like I said, I'm here to play games and I'm just happy to be back on the pitch, if anything. I'm going to let the fans into a secret. You're a grumpy man when you're not involved. But you deal with it well, Brownie. You just bide your time and wait your chance. Yeah, obviously, no one's, no one's happy to be sitting there. Um, you know, it's just like any other job. It's like, Going in week in week out, just say like for you for example, you can't come and like you've been told you're not allowed to interview me after the game. Like that's your job. That's what mine is on a Saturday. So if you're not for whatever reasons you're not involved, you just got to get knuckled down. Obviously, I like to moan as all the players know, but first and foremost the team comes first. And um, I had my time out, um, rightly so as well. Um, it gave me a bit of a refresher. It's my first season in football as well. So um, everything considering, um, come back in the team. I've done, I've done okay. So um, hopefully I can keep my place. But um, like you say, you just got to bide your time when you're not playing well or there's people keeping you out of the team. And you stayed remained part of the squad all the way through that. That's a big part of the learning curve. Yeah, you know, it's not... Everyone just sees the 11 players, they'll get the credit, or the 14 or the three subs that come on, they'll get the credit after the game. But, you know, throughout the week, everyone from coach and staff, chef, you know, everyone behind the scenes, it's everyone has a part to play. So, you know, you've got to stick in there. And when you do get your chuck back in, like I have done recently, um, you've got to be ready and take your chance. So, um no, it has been a learning curve, but it's something that will well, that was put me in good stead for the future. Four games left to play. We know what we have to do now. Yeah, we need to win every game of Um, You know, if we go, we have to, you know, they're winnable games, all of them I feel, but we've got to win every game and hopefully it slips up. But, you know, um, as long as we can just keep something, keep a spark going, we'd all be happy. But we all believe in that dressing room. Um, that we've got we've got four big cup, cup finals to play and um, hopefully it can take us anywhere. Well, last one, just before I let you go, I can't not mention it. A lovely moment between you and you, the two Millwall boys over on the far side when you passed it to Chris and Chris ended up on his backside. Oh, yeah. Any words exchanged? Um, not repeatable in an interview, no. <laughs> but um, no, I, I fired it into Chris, obviously. He'll say it's a little bit behind him, but I reckon he should have stood still. But no, nah, I'll take the blame on that one. But. Um, I know for sure he's getting the blame next time if that happens. So, um, nah, but we're sweet after the game. It's all just during the game. Heat at the moment, but after now we're, we're good and we're going to enjoy our weekend together, I think. Ronnie, thanks for your time again, mate.